Joe. So that's gonna be the third top number four. About flexing, connecting, and doing. Gonna wait for everybody to connect. I'm gonna invite Breezy. Yo, what's up? Atomic Triangle. <laughs> Buena Diego, Carito. What's up, everybody? Yo, Weezy's in the place. That's dope. We're just gonna wait um, a minute for more people to connect and we're gonna start, bro. Yo, what's up? Russia in the place. Boom, boom. Everybody here. That's cool. What's up? Yo, what's up, Weezy? What's going on, bravo? How are you? I'm fine. You hear me good? Yeah, and you? I'm chilling, I'm chilling, bro. How is everything going in New York? Slow. They got everything shut down. We're trying to get it back open, man, but it's just slow. But everybody chilling. Do you know when it's going to open again? We supposed to have been opening today, okay. but... But they starting to open upstate first, like Syracuse and all of that. And we were going to be the last to open because we had the most cases. Okay. Right, so. Damn, the situation is crazy, bro. Okay, we're going to start. So, bro, just introduce yourself for people who don't know you. What's up? They call me Wayne. Um, I'm from Collateral Damage from a group that put on for Brooklyn and New York and USA. Our style is called flexing. Um, more into tutting and connecting. And that's me. Okay, we, we're gonna get to, to the difference between both uh, later. Don't, don't okay. worry, it's gonna be part of the interview. All so right. uh, when did you start dancing and what was the style you start, you start with? When I first started dancing it was in house parties and the projects okay that's when i really got exposed to it like just being around it and i'm like oh i like this and it was the broke up it was really like the people like broke up battling and i like that but then it was different moves they used to do within a broke up so but that was unique about it so that's how i got opened up to the world we was partying that's crazy. So when when we were introduced to Tuts, like when did you know about Tuts? Um, actually, I was like, like I was always fixated with like Egyptian and and just like it just always looked the cool like the snake in a way I used to slither up and shit like as a kid growing up like I thought that was cool but I ain't never think about it of a dance so now that I'm entering a broke up world it's done a third I'm learning all these steps and yeah I seen a few connect moves from a few connects moves back in the days but it wasn't. It wasn't the tutting, so like the moves and the do was probably like a a, a, a like a and they do something simple or whatever because it wasn't upgraded back then. And I was like, oh, I like the hand thing. And then I got introduced or what I started. Um, I seen the movie called Breaking and Turbo. Yeah, was in it, and he really opened me up. And that's when I started looking into break dancing. Okay. And when I started looking into break dancing. It was a lot of people, but I wasn't really jacking any style. Yeah, the pop inch it was cool, the standard third, it was good to learn. I learned all, I tried to learn as much style as I can so I could be an all around dancer. But I seen Mr. Wiggles and he had a tut tutorial. That's right. And he taught me the basic format of like the boop and you switch, boop, and like you pitch it. Just like the format of like Titan. So, and then within that, I just took off from there. No, I'm, I'm wrong. In the midst of that, I seen 
a showcase. I wasn't there. I seen it on a tape of a group called Affirmative Action. Like that group was amazing. Like, but it was this guy called Superman. His his touch was like mine's, but it was more, it was more strict. Like it was more just, but like that shit was just not like. I'm like, oh. Superman from Affirmative Action. Yes. And that was popping style. Um, it was. It was. It. In my mind, from then to now, he was connecting. Okay. It wasn't tutting. It wasn't tutting. It was a, he was connecting. Everything was knocking, pop, pop. All of this connected. So, so I'm like, that was the first time I ever seen like connect so fluent and and just smooth. And I'm like, oh, okay. And from that and Mr. Wiggles, that's what made me. And I just mash it together with with also the broke up style. Cause when I joined BSV, shout out to BSV Ghost. Like he trained me a lot on a broke up style and even my style. He's a good trainer. Like he could help you fix your style because he he see what you need to work with or he'll teach you like the fundamentals of lock in and, and shit so you can incorporate it in your style. So I had to learn that broke up format. Because I never really liked brook up because I never really knew how to brook up. I just recently learned how to brook up after all these years. Because when I seen that everybody else was doing it, I'm not a follower. So I'm like, nah, I got to come through with something that's different. And I did. So for the people who don't know, um, what's the original difference between connecting and setting? I, my definition and my understanding is I taught myself and I taught the people who I taught like this, connecting is points to connecting point one, point two, point three. It's more than three points to connecting point four, point five, but this is when you upgrade. So from the points, a connect always going to stop at a point. If you can't tell, these are the points. So mm -hmm. if you look at it, they always stop in at points so it's connecting see it's not moving off it's not going out it's everything is connecting like you feel me everything and then when you animate or whatever that's when you get into your like your flow but everything still connects from point to point point to point that's why it's connecting now from tutting is more of a a, a popping outward format and the moves is more outward and, and more bold and more loud with with connecting is more slick and smooth. Like you feel me? So it's a big difference. But once you incorporate the two, see, this is why people got it confused now. One of the dudes from the flex world, I'm not gonna mention his name, he called his style connecting by he said you take a move and you knock it to the shoulder, you bring it down to the knee and this kind of third. That's connecting. That's his version of connecting. I'm not gonna knock him for that, but that's his style and that's what he called it. But that's not what this is. This is connecting. This is connects. Everything connects. Everything has to connect. It cannot like even if it do leave, but this is when it's tutting. So it's kind of gets confusing. But if you master the style, you master both styles. It's 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 basically, it's 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 two different things incorporated into one that nobody made a name up for yet. So we on this side, we call it connecting. Okay, but it's part of geometrical dances because you think about a grid, right? Yes. You think about grid and points. Right. So your first inspiration when you started were Superman and Wiggles. Yes. Like Yes. And, and with the time, what are your inspirations now? You guys. You guys. I swear, you guys, because like, like, like when I started, I only really seen Tudders on TV, but they doing the, the real, like the, the snake, boom, and they lock in, it's down the third, or they'll do a quick three, four count of some simple connects, but they don't even know they're connecting. They still calling it tutting. Okay. 
So now when like, I could say like social media or whatever, like it's getting more into, I'm seeing all these dances and all these different styles. I'm like, oh, I gotta step it up. I gotta step it up. But the way I step it up is I like to dance more. So sometimes I may lack on angles and probably different points and shit, but I make up for it in my dancing and my body movement. So everything looks nice. You cannot say I'm not doing what I'm doing. So can we say that you basically brought um, a more developed way of doing angles into flexing? Yes. Yes, I opened the door for that. I definitely opened the door for that. But most of the world, like some of the flex world is in denial about it. Because like I said from before, there's this other dude who's, who's claiming he's, his, his team is claiming he started. But what he started, nobody does what he do. Like his style died out, which his style was dope. His style is fire. He's still a dope dancer to this day, but majority of the world that we in, flex world looks like me. When they put their hands together, the way they connect, pop, pop, all this is me. They wasn't doing that. And how do you feel about that legacy? Because right now, I mean, like the flexing world, a lot of people from all around the world, from Latin America, from Russia, from Asia, are, are getting into that format of turning connecting, like geometrical connecting dance, call it as you want. Honestly. So how do you feel about that legacy? Like, yo, honestly, it's just dawning on me. It's just, it's really just now in these last few months of my life, dawning on me on who I am. Like you didn't realize before that? Nah, because I'm so caught up in my own world. I'm a street dude. I was raised in the streets. I was raised in the projects around all the things that nobody should be around. Like, you feel me? So I took dancing as a hobby, something I just know how to do. And still to this day, I still don't want this to be my full, like, like, I, yeah, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Now I'm a DJ. I play music. Okay. Like for me, I play music very well. I'm nice. And I play the music that we dance to. So reggae. Okay. See, FDM comes from the reggae format. So that's easily blended. And plus I'm a party DJ, so I could play parties for regular crowd and say if, if it's dances in the crowd, boom, the FDM can get blended and smooth. That's what I love doing. But dancing, I feel like that's just something I know how to do. But I'm really in denial about this. And maybe I should really take this serious. And if I took it serious, I would really be somewhere. But I don't. And I just do it for fun. I understand. But that's crazy because you, you brought something that people developed and became so big. Because even me, when I came into into geometrical dances i was looking for bones for example and and next level squad and and they were connecting all the way like including bone breaks into it and everything mm -hmm. like maybe upgrading what you came with but i mean you originate that kind of of style it's it's, it's just dawning on me brother it's just really dawning on me and you know it's crazy like people like you around the world embrace that but over here, it's not like that. We the underdogs over here. We're not respected. We we are very disrespected over here. We are disrespected. This is why I'm still battling these guys, these little guys who's looking like me, who feel like they want to challenge me now. It's on the third, and you look like me. I feel you. That's crazy. I mean, we always more respected in other countries than ours. You know. It's, That's a fact. It's crazy, but it's like that. So. Why did you came in with angles? Like, what do you like about that that much that make you made your own style based on it? I like, I like, I, from the tutting I've been seeing, I categorize it. Like, you got people that just tut just to do it. But then you got people that really want to see what's next. See where I could go. See what angle, see where this angle could take me. And... We all have our own way of doing it, but my way, I like, I like smooth and neatness. And another reason, oh, and I forgot to mention, Michael Jackson was another one of my idols okay. when it came to the body movement and the smoothness. So 
from the way I like my connects smooth and sharp and on point, I try to put my body movement like that. So that kind of influence came from Taco too, because he yeah. was the choreographer of Michael. Yeah, see, 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 I don't really know too much. I just know who, who like, who inspired me. Yeah. But I ain't really dig too much in the break dancing because I already had the one that I like and it was Wiggles. I understand. But from the animation to the popping to the strobing, he had all of it down pat. Like he's really teaching it. He had tapes, he had tutorials, and all his tapes was dope. So I was like, like I felt like I ain't have to look in no more. I was good. And both of you are from New York. Did you already meet with him or it was just by tapes? Just by tapes. I wish I did. Now one of the guys in my teams, like he's in cahoots with all these guys. Like he always trying to get me and pull me out to events, but due to life circumstances, I'll probably be busy or be at work or I can't make it. But I do have opportunities to meet these guys when I can. Hope it would happen soon so we can be yes. more excited, you know? Yes. I thought that sometimes, depending on who, flexors don't embrace the tutting movement because they say it's connecting and not tutting. Like, They want to put the difference on it. So maybe it it separates the community a little bit if yes. we consider flexors or connectors like tutters, you know? We are. We just, it's just a different form of it. But the origination, like, like it originated from tutting. Without tutting, I wouldn't have been able to do this because I wouldn't have had no idea to put these closer, to pull them in and connect them. That's right. If nobody wouldn't have ever did that, I'd have been like, I, I, I don't know. I probably would have still been broke up in, or probably been waving or something. But this connecting originated from tutting, so years tutting is just another form of it. So they can't do that. It's, 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 it's basically like the same thing. That's like saying finger tutting is not tutting. I understand. It's just another format of it. Yes. So uh, how do you work on your tuts? Like what's in your mind when it came to freestyling or creating combos? Well, right now I'm caught up in a web because I, I'm, I'm, I'm so versatile. I can't focus just on my connects. So when I feel like I'm connecting too much, my mind stares off like, All right, I got to animate out of it and bring it to a glide or a something because of the world I'm in. You can't just be in one spot all day We not having that. We not having that over here. And if we is, and if we is, you gotta be a beast at it. And because I'm so versatile and I ain't really focused, focused hard on my connects, I'm not a beast at it. I'm just nice at it. I understand. Honestly, because I work on other styles. So I can't take all my time and just put it into this. But if I did, trust me, I'd be a problem. So who will build your favorite connector nowadays? My favorite connectors right now, no bias shit. I like X, I like Bones. I like um, Inner J, um, Kool-Aid. You, it's a few of y'all that I met recently that requested me. I was looking at y'all videos. Videos are dope. It's opening my mind up to new things, new moves. And I'm like, yeah, I got a battle coming up. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a like, you feel me? <laughs> That's dope. Each one teach yeah. one, brother. Uh-huh. Each one teach one, exactly. That's really dope. So, for you, what is the difference? I mean, for you, it's difficult because you're more into flexing, but I try to put together, like, when I ask your questions, is flexing and tutting. Like, what you think in both, you know? Like, what, what is the It, difference into the culture since you started and, and now? Wait, repeat your question one more time, brother. What's the difference in the culture, into the tutting culture, the, the geometrical dances movement, since mm -hmm. you started and right now? Oh, it's, 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 see, back then, it was more fast pace. It was either fast pace, like, brr, 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 fast and smooth, and then it stops to, uh, like, like, hard pop lock touch the standard third because we danced to fast songs and sound effects. So when the fast songs stopped, we went to the sound effects. Boom, and we probably 
but now because of the music that's out now, like FDM music and everything gets so technical and upgraded, the style then upgraded the concepts. So now when niggas connecting, like they would draw their whole move out and their whole concept and then go into it. Like you feel me? I'm still not really getting that. I'm just recent. I'm still trying to open up my mind to that. And the person who got that down pat is, is my bro Mooka. I call him the concept king. Like he like, but right now it's really about concepts. But I'm I'm not like I don't follow trends, so I'm still sticking with my yeah, smooth, sharp point on point. And then I probably break out to a concept and something and then do it because I'm learning, but I'm not gonna fully just erase my style and upgrade with the style because that's upgraded. No, I'm gonna keep upgrading my style. For sure, understand you a hundred. And how do you think the, the movement can evolve? Like what's for you the way we have to take to to be big as popping, for example, or any other styles that is already recognized? The movement is gonna, the movement will evolve by what we're doing right now. And shout out to you for putting this together. Our video we about to do. Tut World at um Tut Worldwide. Yes. This is how we're gonna bring everybody together and we could probably fix things. And then everybody's watching one video with all these different styles on it. And and people who's not dance or whatever who don't dance is gonna see and it's probably create uh a monster because it's it's probably a brain out there who could put all our shit together and he just taking it other places and we like oh my god that will be you feel me that will be so this is how it's gonna bust up for people who don't know we made in a project and now i think we are more than 55 theaters already confirmed like yeah, doing the worldwide collab, there is people from all the continents, and it's gonna be really crazy. So stay that's tuned. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna yeah. be dope. So yeah, that's the way to make studying huge. We, we agree. And how do you think your your way of practicing have changed over time? Well, right now, honestly, I'm lacking right now because. I really only practice when I got a battle coming up, which is bad. I probably walk around the house or, or the seventh third, but I really mental lab a lot. I mental lab a lot. I mental lab a lot. That works for me. I probably get up and, and lab probably for like an hour or two, but I don't be deep in dance studios and all day. Nah, I don't do that. Cause I've been doing it so long. Like I've been, I don't know, like I've been dancing all my life. It's like I would never lose the touch. I probably get rusty, but I could get right back up ASAP. Understand your hundred. And what what kind of work do you like most enjoying? Is it battling? Is it doing stage, video clips, teaching? Like what what feeds you most? Like I like I like performing in groups. I like I like doing routines. I like somebody right next to me, somebody to the other side, and we both on point together. It looks better visually. It looks way better visually. The battling, I'm tired of that. I've been, I've been to have my streak. I've been proved my point. I, I probably got little to no losses. I'm, I'm tired of battle. I just want to, I just want to have fun doing it, probably get paid doing it and just meet new people and learn new stuff create in groups like bring something to the table like something new that's right yes that's really dope is there much opportunities in in bk like, to to do stages well we're in new york so it's a lot of open opportunity but at the same time it's a lot of competition because everybody's does the same thing or want to do the same thing and if you got so many people around you like just trying to do the same thing it's like i right, think it's a little discouraging or sometimes a little competitive and so back when i was in my prom i was into that like i was very competitive i had to be first my group had to be nicest the cleanest now i'm not really there i just want to learn as much as i can learn 
and unite as much as we can. Um, how do you feel the the community in in New York is 